So this research is about caustics. Uh, caustics are light patterns that are created when light is focused by a reflective or refractive surface, such as a polished piece of metal or um, some transparent material like glass. Um, and typically these patterns are very random, kind of chaotic. And our goal was to um, tame these kind of wild and intricate patterns and produce caustics of arbitrary images. So in our invention, you can take some kind of image as a goal, for example, a portrait or landscape scene, and we will create a 3D surface out of, for example, transparent material like this, that is formed in such a way that the light is focused to create this image. So you could think of it as painting with light, if you will, through the form of an object. So there is nothing embedded in this surface that would create the image. It's purely the way that light is refracted through the curved surface on, on top of this piece of glass. So in computer graphics, we've studied for a long time the interaction of light um, with 3D objects and how we can simulate that. Um, in our project, we want to invert this process. So we are given the desired caustic image, and the goal is to find a 3D surface like this one that creates this image by focusing or diverting light. Um, and we formulated that in a mathematical model and devised an algorithm to do this kind of optimization. So in this project, we actually teamed up with architects, and we're primarily looking at how to use this technology in architecture. And one could, for example, imagine the window of a storefront where the window is shaped in such a way as to create a caustic image on the floor. So for example, if you take this object here, you could see that if the sun is at the right spot, you create this portrait at the, at the window. And as the sun moves, the image will change and evolve, and it's a very kind of dynamic and fluent effect. Um, but beyond these type of uses in architecture, you could think of many other applications, for example, in product design, um, any object that is composed of a reflective or refractive material could be interesting for this type of application. So for example, a wine glass, a perfume bottle, um, jewelry, uh, furniture, all these objects that have shiny surfaces um, could be manipulated in such a way as to create these images. Um, there's also more technical applications, for example, in reflector design. Um, if you want to optimize the, the way that light is used, for example, for a car headlight so that it's moved to the right spot on the street, you can use similar techniques than the one we have invented. Um, personally, I'm quite interested in, in art, um, so I'm looking into a dialogue with artists because I think this interaction of light and form can be really very intriguing for artistic expression.